G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. If fly fishing is something you want to get into, you want to do a course with us. We'll take you up to the new G and we'll teach you how to catch trout. $99, get in touch with us and we'll teach you how to be a superstar fly fisher. See that little one? That's a uh, like a mayfly uh, nymph. So he lives under rocks for a couple of years and then um, swims to the surface, breaks through uh, his uh, skin there and turns into mayfly, lives for a day and uh, uh, the whole uh, system works again. All these other little bits are like little snails and um, little caddis as well. And they look like little rocks that are in there and, and they're, um, they're clinging to the bottom of this and uh, will also turn into flying insects as well. So um, always put him back and uh, yeah, I'll keep the whole system going again. After a while, uh, these dries do become a little bit waterlogged, even though you put um, like your float and things on it. So this is a product called Shake and Float. It's a desiccant, you put that fly in there and it takes all the water out of it and uh, makes it uh, float like a cork. Much easier to see and a very handy way to uh, make your flies float a lot better. Lovely little pool, just cascading off that. A little bit of depth. And you really are expecting a fish every single cast. Which is expecting a lot when you do a thousand casts in a little river like this, but they're just so exciting. I was thinking before, you know, some days you'll have fly fishing in that. They stick in your memory as absolute gold and just great fun the whole time and then other days you'll catch a heap of fish and fly fishing certainly can be like that it's not always about how many fish or how big they are it's just like in an environment like this I mean you get to experience like Australia like literally untouched and doing something like this makes it just great fun, great fun. Although the odd fish does help. There you go. And we expected a, a lovely little fish to be in there somewhere. And uh, that stimulator has certainly done the trick. And they're just beautiful fish. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, you really don't need too many photos of it, but you are expecting one every every single cast. And uh, a lovely little rainbow, just I'll get him out there for you. But just a beautiful little fish. And when they come and take the dry fly, I mean, realistically, we're a couple of weeks off the end of the season, and a river like this, they're still taking the dry. That's just great fun. And uh, yeah, it doesn't break any records, but it gets the, the heart pumping, and as I always say, uh, it's, it's all about doing a good cast in the right spot, and you see that fish come up and take it, you know, and uh, after that it doesn't really matter what happens, but to, to get that take 
to lift the rod and there's a, a bend in it, there's weight on it and there's a fish on the end of it. Well, you've had to have done quite a few things right to get that and that's success, you know, so uh, that's good. So a couple of fish, doesn't take much to keep us fly fishermen happy. A little rainbow like that, I always say sizes and everything. And uh, that's lucky I say that with the size of the fish that we've been getting today. But uh, still a great day regardless. There we go, nice little fish there. And sometimes with... Uh, Where's he go? Little, little rainbow again. Just an aggressive little fish. Rainbows, I think, um, just don't lack or don't have the caution that a brown will have. So they're a lot more energetic and they do like the faster water. So a little stream like this, um, beautiful little fish. And they're all, they're all different. But in, the, in fast water like this, I think it really suits rainbows. And you can tend to cast into a lot of the, the faster currents. And that's where you will find rainbow sitting. Trout, browns are a little bit, like lazier is one way, maybe a little bit cleverer. And they'll just sit in the slack water. So um, in a river like this, it's worth a couple of bob each way. A cast into the slower stuff right next to it. And there's something into the faster water that'll hold a lot of rainbows as well. So um, yeah, it's all good. The more fish you catch, it's not that important. They're still good.